Hey guys, Dr. Greg. Uh, I just had a discovery call with a mom, um, a concerned mom. She has a son that is recovering from an addiction. And she's like, Dr. Greg, you need to create a TikTok about addiction recovery and how functional medicine has a role in addiction recovery. Um, her son is uh, receiving inpatient treatment for a fentanyl addiction. Breaks my heart. What we know, we started to dig. We started to ask questions. We talk about brain health. You see, you can't get too far away from a brain health conversation without having a gut health conversation, which then ties into a whole body conversation. So this is me creating that video. Um, so what we're gonna do with this woman's son is we're gonna get clearance from his inpatient treatment program to have a visit with me, and then we're gonna run labs on him. You see, we know that neurotransmitters are messed up, mixed up, and not doing what they're truly designed to do. For example, um, I used to travel the professional rodeo circuit as a physician. Dopamine. <laughs> Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that a lot of addicts are looking for. And that's a sense of connection. That's, that's the ding that you get from your phone. That's the um, looking for affirmation. So we're gonna run labs on this guy. And I actually expect to see stressors that are causing his gut and his drainage pathways not to function well. Now, I am not a psychologist, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a mental health therapist. But respectfully, I think that people like myself should be on the team of those that are recovering from addiction. Because if you don't balance the gut and you don't give the brain the proper nutrition and you don't retrain the physiology, then what's the next addiction? Just because he may not use fentanyl again, like what's next? So um, my heart goes out to this mom. Um, her, her mama bear heart was just awesome. And, and I hear her. And so if you or someone that you know is walking through this, let's connect.